Hey y'all, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I'm gonna show you how I make this nutrient dense green juice. Juicing allows nutrients, enzymes, antioxidants, and minerals from fruits and vegetables to get into your bloodstream quickly without the fiber. The first thing that we're gonna add to our juice is some kale. Now kale is rich in antioxidants. Antioxidants are substances that counteract oxidative damage by free radicals in the body. And this is usually the main cause of many illnesses and diseases. Spinach is an excellent source of iron. Iron is needed to make hemoglobin, which is a protein found in the red blood cells that is responsible for transporting oxygen around the body. Celery aids in digestion. It prevents ulcers, it gets rid of kidney stones, and it is great for calming the nerves. Parsley is packed with vitamin K, which contributes to bone health and helps the blood to clot. Cucumbers promote hydration, aids in weight loss, it helps to manage blood sugar levels, it helps in digestion and it keeps your skin glowing. Pineapples contain disease-fighting antioxidants and it boosts the immune system. Oranges are high in vitamin C which helps to build the immune system. It is also rich in alkalizing minerals, which helps to balance the body's pH. Apples contain potassium, which helps to regulate the nervous system. They also have prebiotic effects, which promote good gut bacteria. Ginger has amazing anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. It lowers blood sugar and cholesterol levels, and it is good for digestion. Turmeric has anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, and anti-aging properties, and it also helps to reduce acne. Coconut water contains electrolytes, which enhances rehydration and replenishes the body. Now that we have all our ingredients, all you're gonna do is add everything to a blender in no specific order and blend it up. For my liquid, I'm adding coconut water, but you can also use regular water or any form of juice such as apple juice or even orange juice. Because if you're not a green juice fan, it's gonna be a little bit harder for you to consume it because of the green taste that it has. But I find that if you use one of these juices, it will be easier to consume. You're just gonna go ahead and blend your ingredients with your liquid until you get a smooth consistency. Because I am using a small blender and everything is not able to hold in it at once, I kept having to stop the blender, pour off the excess liquid and then add the rest of my greens. But to prevent this, you can just use a big enough blender that can hold all your ingredients at once. Before adding my apple to the green juice, I ensure to peel the skin off because there's a waxy coating on the outside that I do not want in my juice. Adding sweet fruits to my green juice such as pineapple, apple and orange really brings up the flavor so that it is more pleasing to the taste buds. After the blending process is completed, you're just going to pour the smoothie into either a strainer and if you don't have a strainer, you can just use a piece of cloth, you can also use a nut milk bag, whatever you have that can be used as a strainer, you can utilize it to strain your juice. The body is exposed to toxins on a daily basis, either from the food that we eat or from our environment. So what the green juice does is it helps the liver to remove these toxins more efficiently from the body. Green juice reduces inflammation, which is the main cause of many health disorders. It is rich in antioxidants, which is a substance that protects the body from oxidative damage. Green juice also helps to support a healthy immune system because it's packed with so much nutrients and vitamins that are needed to support the immune system so that our bodies can fight against sicknesses and diseases. A green juice a day keeps the doctors away. 